Okay, seriously though, how is it physically possible for someone to have this many stuffed animals? Like, really? Seriously. Yeah. Hello, y'all! Hey guys, Fiona here, and I am not in LPS today. What is this? Okay, the throne thing literally only works with LPS. Okay, what is this? <laughs> literally, no. So, sorry I haven't uploaded in literally forever. Um, once more. Like I always do. Um, but this time I have an excuse. Like, literally, not just that I was being lazy. Literally, um, school, of course, has started. Like, two months ago. But, um, yes, uh, so there's something they give you in school called summatives. I do not like summatives. Or lots of you might be familiar with summative assessments. The worst thing about summative assessments, the teachers give you all of them at once. Ugh. I should stop throwing her, um, sorry, Millie. But yeah, um, I don't, I didn't have a lot of homework today, so, um, I found some time to make a video for you guys. Appreciate this! <laughs> no, seriously, though, appreciate this, because I'm not feeling too great. Um, as you can tell, because I keep sniffing, but, um, yeah, and also the fact that it's very hard to control a stuffed animal. Okay, let, let's see. It, it doesn't go like this. It doesn't, th this is the way, the way I'll just do it, because she's far too tall for my, for my camera. So, yeah. So what is the point of this video, you may be asking? Well, let me tell you. So as you may have seen at the beginning of the video, I have a lot of stuffed animals. And, um, with those stuffed animals, the, the fur tends to get messed up. A bit like how LPS get dirty, um, stuffed animals' fur gets messed up. Well, um, yeah. And I have not, that I can remember, ever brushed my stuffed animals. So, recently I took them all out of their baskets to check if I could, like, remember their names. Their fur was completely covered in cat fur because my very annoying cat, Sydney, always climbs into the stuffed animal baskets and lays on the stuffed animals and then covers them in cat fur. And they were also covered in these really annoying spiky little plants that get stuck in my, uh, to my cat's fur and then, yeah, they got stuck to my stuffed animals. And the worst of all, dead flies. <laughs> So yeah, I thought it was might be a good time to actually brush the stuffed animals for, or as I like to call it, operating. But yeah, that giant pile of stuffed animals you just saw, those are all the stuffed animals I'm done with. And um, yeah, that was just kind of mission for me to get done, but there are still a couple stuffed animals I haven't done yet. And I'd not thought to make a video of like how you can do this. Um, so I thought, you know, I haven't uploaded something forever and this is just something quick I can show you guys while doing my job in life. <laughs> yeah. Now guys, please just remember that I am no expert at this. I just use the materials I could get. Um, and this, I recommend using this strategy, but it may not work for your situation. Thank you. Let's begin. Whoa. So our first patient, uh, patient is Chi Chi the Windable Chihuahua. She wasn't such a challenge because I was already mainly done with her, but um, she still had some cat hairs on her. I had to take the cat hairs off, um, take a little piece of tape and twirl it around your fingers. And gently tap your stuffed animal and uh, it should remove the cat hairs or dog hairs depending. I do not recommend using this strategy on long fur stuffed animals. Um, Chi Chi was a short hair so I could do it on her and uh, remember if you do want to do it on uh, long hairs, do it really gently. So our next patient is Tommy the guinea pig, and he is a long hair, so he'll be slightly harder to do than Chi Chi. So what you're first going to want to do is give them a quick fly check to check if there aren't any bugs in their fur, so that when you're brushing the stuffed animal's fur, you won't cut, your hands won't come across any dead flies or something like that, because that would be a slightly gross experience. To do this, I use a little pair of scissors um, just to go through the fur and che uh, check all the little spots to uh, see if there are any flies. Um, this, you could ju just uh, as well use your hands, it, it's really no big deal, but if you prefer not touching any dead flies, um, then I suggest using a little pair of scissors like mine. Also, just for the fun of it, please comment down below um, if you've ever had to brush dead flies out of your stuffed animal's fur. Tommy didn't 
uh, ended up not having any, but just comment down below if you've had the same experience. It would be quite funny. Also, just a quick thank you to everyone that subscribed, and I, uh, I will try to uh, make another subscriber special just for you guys to know. Also, please ignore my really badly done goth nails. <laughs> Never do my nails for any videos, mainly because I'm too lazy to even try and I'm not into nail polish, but I was just mainly bored in math class and went over them with marker. Don't judge me. Um, back to the actual video. When you're 99 or so percent sure or, um, that you haven't found any dead bugs or anything, quickly go over it with your hands to see if you feel anything and see if they're soft enough. Now to the brushing part of it, uh, you're going to want to take a Build-A-Bear brush if you have one and otherwise um, something like it. I prefer using a Build-A-Bear brush because they're just perfect for brushing fur. Then medium roughnessly go over it. Um, don't go too rough because you might pull all its fur along with it. Um, but don't go too soft either because then you won't get any work done. Also, make sure that you aren't only doing the back, but also its face um, and its stomach, is otherwise only its back will be soft and that's not what you want. At last, feel if um, you think they're soft enough. However, if the stuffed animal's fur is by any chance matted, um, you might want to use a normal brush, um, a, I don't know if they're called a hard bristle brush or not, but, um, to make the fur or even better because if it, uh, if the fur has matted, then you will not get through it with the Build-A-Bear brush. But if it's still quite soft, then you can just do it with the Build-A-Bear brush or something like that. Tommy's fur was not that matted, but um, or matted in general, but I just quickly went over him with the bristle brush uh, just to get the last of the tangles out. Um, it's really good for getting the rougher tangles out, and yeah. Remember, even if the stuffed animal's fur is matted, you're going to ha have to do this really gently, because otherwise you might break the stitching, and that's definitely not what you want. And voila! Tommy's fur is as good as new. Also, if you are not comfortable using duct tape on your stuffed animals or tape, then you can use one of these cleaner brushes. Um, I suggest not using a real one because they might leave dust spots all over your stuffed animal. But um, you can use one from a play set of some kind and it attracts the cat hairs. Um, and but make sure that you do it in a really quick movement, otherwise it won't attract anything. Be free, my pretty! Seriously. <laughs> Alright guys, so it turns out we didn't have any problems with flies on either of the stuffed animals I showed you. Um, and Tommy nor Chi Chi were such um, difficult. Uh, mainly because Chi Chi had already been doing and she wasn't that such a problem in the first place she was just covered in cat hair and um, Tommy was one of the cleanest so um, so oh, uh, but the video is already quite long so if um, this video can you know if you guys enjoy these type of videos then um, I will make another one where I will show a bit more of a challenging pet such as um, you know, ones with dead flies in the fur. Um, most dead flies have been removed from the fur, but um, such as dead flies in the fur or matted fur. Um, the first ever one I did had a serious case of matted fur and it's still not completely like well, but I guess I, I have to be a pro to do that. But i uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Wish me good luck on my summatives. <laughs>